Hey there, welcome back. In this tutorial, you will learn how you can share new GitHub commits on Slack automatically. So guys, if you are a developer or a part of software project, you know that GitHub is an essential tool for version control and collaboration. On the other hand, Slack is a popular messaging tool for team communications. So guys, here I'm going to show you how you can integrate GitHub with Slack so that you can stay on top of your project's progress. So here guys, with the help of this automation, you can send the new commits of files and the new update commits of files in GitHub's on Slack in real time, making it easier for you to share the information of your project's progress in real time with your team. And we are going to set up this automation without any coding. So without any further ado, let's begin. To set up this automation guys, we are using Pabli Connect application, which is an integration and automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pabli. And I'm going to paste the same link in the description as well so that you can avail this offer and you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automation. So you can just sign up right now from the given link and after that you just have to sign in and select Pabli Connect product and you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect like this. From here guys click on this create workflow button to set up the workflow. Here you can give a suitable name to your workflow as well. So I'm giving here the name as GitHub commits to Slack. Okay. So after giving these kind of names, you can just click on create button and you will see your workflow page like this. And on this page, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things, we are going to set up any automation. So trigger is that event which kickstarts our workflow and the action is an automated consequence or the response of the trigger. So here guys, when you click on the trigger, it will ask to choose the trigger application. So in our use case guys, GitHub will be our trigger application and uh, uh, Slack will be the action application. So here we are going to search for GitHub. then you have to select the trigger event as new commit push. Okay, so it is going to uh, fetch the push request of any commit that you are doing on any file. Okay, so click on new commit push, then click on connect button. From here, select add new connection, then click on connect with GitHub. Alright, so it will bring you to this window. So here you have to authorize the GitHub application, or you have to authorize Pabli and then click on authorize Pavli here and here it will ask for the password of your github account you have to fill it here then click on confirm and you will be connected with github and after getting connected your connection will be saved in your Pavli connect account okay so i have already connected with github in a previous workflow so uh, every connection that you make here is saved in your account so if you want to make the connection again with the same application in the same workflow or in a different workflow, you can use your saved connections. For that, you just have to select this existing connection option. And here it will show you the list of all the saved connections that you have like this. From here, you can choose any connection and then click on save one more time and you will be connected again. Okay, so you do not need to authorize the application again and again, you just have to do it once. All right. And here it is started showing the owner name of the GitHub account, the repository in which you are having the files. So guys, I'm using this uh, repository. So account is this and the repository is this Papcon. So here it will show you the list of repositories. Here it is listed Papcon. I'm selecting it right after that. You can click on save and send test request button and it will start showing waiting for the connections response. This means now we can perform a test submission. Test submission means guys, now I'm going to open my GitHub account and I'm going to open any random file and I'm going to edit it. And then after that, I'm going to commit that file. Okay. And that commit will be captured here in this response section. Let me show you how this is my repository. Here are the files I'm using. So from here, let me just open this, this one named as tweet 001 file. Okay, let me just open it. Also, okay, so this is a file. 
and here let me click on edit button to edit the file okay so here I am just adding some details here like this testing the commit okay so here I have added something I have edited this file you can do the same process with a new file as well okay so you can commit a new file or already added file both of the things are possible and here you can see we have this commit changes button okay and I am co committing this file to the main branch okay so here I am clicking on commit changes so this file is committed let me show you uh, if we got the response captured and guys I have edited this file using the owner account of github you can also have team members or contributors who can also edit the same file and the data of that commit will also be saved will also going to trigger the workflow okay so here you can see guys we got the response captured and uh, here we have received these details you can see we have received the sender type as user okay and here you can see the login ID of the sender which is the account owners ID and here is the sender ID all right and here you can see the visibility as public the repository updated date and time and here you can see all other details the technical details as well we have the owner name the owner login ID and here you can see we got the repository name as well okay right and here we have the repository ID then you will find the repositories full name all right okay so this is how you can capture the data here you can see the pusher name is this okay and here you can see the file name is also received here and we have received the commit ID as well right so we got many things here and now I want to share this information with my team present on slack that this is what happened in github right now for that we are going to connect slack here in this action step so search for slack here okay then you have to select the action event as send channel message all right after that click on connect button from here select add new connection then click on connect with slack <coughs> and here it will ask uh, for entering the token type so for connecting with slack we have two kind of token types here one is user other is bot so both of the token types have different kind of permission accesses to slack application so you can re read and learn about the slack tokens by clicking on this here word written in blue and you will reach the forum page of Pabli connect and from this forum you can learn many things about the token so these are the uh, permissions uh, for user token type and these are the permissions for bot token type right now I am just going to use user you can use the tokens according to your needs all right and after that click on save and it will bring you to this window from here you have to select the space in which uh, you have the channel so let me just show you the space as well let me close this this is my slack application guys and we are working under this uh, space Pabli connect space okay so let me just connect here slack connect with slack put the token type as user click on save from this window I'm going to first select the spaces name Pabli connect all right then you have to provide these accesses to Pabli connect so click on allow here and you can see the authorization is successful and we are connected with slack and here you have to select the channels name so I'm working here on this general channel so I'm going to select the general channel okay here it, it is asking for the message so here you can type the message that you want to send to your team as a notification for uh, github commits so I'm just writing here hello team we have so guys I have written this kind of uh, notification hello team we have just got a new commit in github the details are as follows repository name name of committer committer's id committed file name and i'm going to map this data from the pre previous step from the trigger where we have got the test data of the committed file so to map the data here you just have to click here after this name word like this and you can see uh, here in the drop down it is showing us the github new commit push trigger step and when you click on it you will find all the data right here so from here you can search for repository name details 
like this. And here you can see the name of the repository. All right, here is repository name. You just have to click on it to map it. Similarly, you can find the name of the committer. You just have to type committer here. All right, so you can see the committers detail. Okay, so it is not showing the committer's name. Commit author name, here it is. You can just select it from here. And here in the commit ID, you can find the committer's ID. Committer's ID. So guys, in the committer's ID, I am mapping the email ID of the committer like this, okay? And the committed file, after committed file, I'm going to put the name of the uh, file got, that got committed or change. So here you can see the commit modified label. Here is the file's name. So you can just map the commit modified label to uh, map the data here. So when you map the labels here like this, what will happen in real time whenever uh, any file you commit or your contributor or team member is going to commit these labels here are going to be updated and the new message will be delivered to your team automatically that's why it is important to map the details here okay now guys you can use all these things if you have the data right now i'm leaving these things blank this is these are not compulsory things all right and here we have the save and send test request button to check the connection with slack so by clicking here, you can send a new message here on this general channel. Let me show you. I'm clicking on save and send test request here. This is the response we have received. Let's check in our general channel if we got a new message. And here you can see we got a new message. And the message is the same with the same data that I have mapped here. You can see these are the same things I have mapped and we have received in the message. So this is how it is going to work, guys. So we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once. After that, you don't have to do anything manually in the workflow. You do not even have to open it. It is going to run in the background. And after that, whenever there is a new file committed, you will receive the notification messages on your Slack channel automatically. And guys, you can use this workflow as well as I'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description. You can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.